How's it going, morons? <clears throat> I'm going to do a live review with you guys about. Um, so my camera's a little off center, but. Uh, Black Panther. So, just got done watching the movie. Um, I, well, I had dinner and chatted with my friends afterwards, but um, it was really, really good. Okay, so I'm going to try to do the first half. Um, the first half spoiler free and then I'll give you a, a spoiler warning once I get to the spoiler parts so just letting you know I will be trying to not spoil the movie for you um, so is it worth going and seeing in uh, in theaters yes reason being I'm gonna be honest it's probably gonna be the talk of the world right now uh, everybody is probably going to be talking about this for the next at least month because it it is a very well done movie um, and on top of that the graphics are really good um, the uh, what they do with the suit and what they do with um, uh, Wakanda it's all very very good very well done and I really really enjoyed it um, Obviously, you know, if you follow the Marvel movies at all, you know where everything's going. Because we know what's... I mean, we all know that uh, Infinity War is happening. And so, that's kind of predictable. But they do throw some plot twists in there that kind of just sends you questioning, I guess. Uh, so, it is fun. It's really good. I enjoy it. And they do a lot as far as doing a lot of connections with what's going on with our, uh, with society in America, with uh, division between uh, classes and races, um, which a lot of people are, I'm going to be honest, are going to be very upset about. But, you know, it's a thing and it's happening and they're not playing shy with it so they they put it up front and center so you have to learn to live with it or live without it that's up to you but um i'm i'll get more into that later on when we get to the spoiler section um they introduce obviously if you see the trailers they introduce killmonger and i love what they do with his character um, and on top of that, I, I, I'm glad they did, did away with the Jerry curls. Cause if you look at the comics, he has the, the crazy Jerry curls and it just looks, it, it look, doesn't look the, what we wouldn't take him seriously. Um, and I, so I liked what they did with the character. They, it's an interesting take on Killmonger. Um, and they did something um, they did a lot of things that I was hoping that they would touch on. Um, they they sewed up some loose ends and made it entertaining. I had I, I did have a lot of fun watching the movie, and I would definitely recommend seeing it. Yeah, it, it's uh, out of ten, I would give it an eight. Um, I would give it an eight out of ten, and the only. Uh, big downfall that I would give it would be um, there are certain characters that I wanted in there that weren't and I won't spoil that for you guys until after I give you your spoiler warning but there are there's uh, there are things in there that I wish they would have added but they didn't so I'm just gonna have to live with that and hopefully it comes up later on um, let me think the I'm trying to not spoil anything for you guys. The uh, the character development um, was on point with really giving us a good feel for um, how people interpret their um, not their African heritage, but but African society. Um, so it was it was interesting to see to see that perspective. Now, do I have an accurate, uh, am I credible as far as that's concerned? No. 
So I'm going solely based on my very limited understanding of what ac actual African um, society is like. So take that with a grain of salt, please. Um, so yeah, definitely worth seeing. Go see it. It's going to be the talk of everything. Um, even after the shooting, because let's be honest, a lot of people are really numb to that at this point, so, which is really depressing, but, um, I think people are going to be talking about this because it has a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting points as far as society is concerned, so, and plus, on top of that, we have, uh, Infinity Wars coming up here in, what is that, February, March, April, May, three months, holy cow. It's only three months away. Um, so, anyways, we are now going to move on to the spoiler portion. So, just an FYI, if if you don't want any spoilers, I am starting the spoiler portion of my of my review. So, I'll give you three seconds to to stop watching and go see the movie, or just keep watching. Okay, that's it. Um, so. They don't have Captain America in there. So that when we left, if I remember correctly, when we left Civil War, um, Captain America was in the throne room with Black Panther. What happened? Why? Why the change? I don't get it. Uh, that that would have been awesome, and it also would have made things a lot cooler and like bigger and just. Yeah, we're, I wore I wore my Captain America hat because I thought Captain America was going to be it be in it. I obviously didn't look at the IMDb and see you know what character was going to be in it. Uh, I'm stupid, but I don't care. I thought Captain America was going to America was going to be in it. Obviously not with his new shield. Like I don't know if anybody remembers. Like there's a big controversy over Captain America's shield right now. The fact that it's not the Captain America shield and that it's built into his forearms. Whatever. But he wasn't in the movie, which was stupid. I would have loved Captain America. He would have been like that. Excuse me. He would have been that like token white boy, you know that uh, that was you know accepted by his black friends. That would have been awesome. And plus, I think the symbolism behind that would have been really interesting as well, um, because of what Captain America represents and what Black Panther represents. That would have been really, 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 really cool. But it didn't happen. Oh, well. Um, what else? So, yeah, they didn't bring... That's that's the, my... That's... Okay, so when I gave my 8 out of 10 review, or my 8 out of 10 opinion, that's what I was upset about, is they didn't have Captain America, and what they did with Bucky was stupid. Um, hopefully they do something to explain more about what's going on with Bucky in Infinity War, but what they're doing right now is kind of ridiculous, because, yeah. Twitch side one, yes, how was the movie? 8 out of 10. Really good, I enjoyed it. Um, just to let you know, if you're watching right now, I am in the spoiler per portion of my video. I will be uploading... Uh, re-uploading this on YouTube if you want to watch it in full <coughs> everything. So right now I'm in the middle of my spoiler review. So you have been warned. Um, where was I? Yeah, so what they did with Bucky was kind of ridiculous. He was just kind of this tag-on thing at the very end. And it, I was kind of upset about, about it. But... I don't know, hopefully they go more into it as in, in Infinity War because they didn't really explain much except for the fact that he was there, but he was uninvolved. Uh, or what he was doing during the movie, during, you know, the division between um, the, the battle with Killmonger and all that. Now, what I do love... Oh, man. Okay, so... Um, they brought in the the five tribes of Wakanda, and they touched on all of them. And I liked what they did with with like the challenge. 
I loved the fact that they finally had the ritual for the Black Panther, which I were ho I was hoping they would do during Civil War, but they didn't. Um, but they they finally did it, and it was awesome, and I loved it. The ritual was really, uh, yes, and I liked how they had like the four tribes, and um, the fifth tribe being this outlier that was kind of pushed away, outcast. Um, and tries to get reinvolved by challenging uh, T'Challa, and I loved the fact that they did that because that is exactly what happens in the comics. Um, the four tribes are um, are united, and then we got this one tribe. I forget the name of it off the top of my head, um, and they they are kind of the outcast, and I like the fact that they did that. Uh, I like what they did with Eric Killmonger. Um, they created a really good narrative for him. Um, and it really brought it home with how, uh, how black society has been for the past about 20, 30 years. The, the division in society, how, um, touchy that subject has become and that um he is a part of you you have both sides you have um i don't like how my camera's set here it's really annoying me um but you have you can see both sides and i like how they um show that division within uh within its own cultural group it gives it can really give uh, someone from the outside looking in an idea of the perspective um, Now that depends on the individual obviously that worldviews come into play as, as far as that's concerned, so pff, That that'll be that'll be up to the individual, but I believe that that was the intention here was to um, provide a segue for um, individuals on the outside to see what happens on the inside of those different demographics and I th I believe they did a good job but you know that depends on the world view I am I personally am a very open individual as far as world views and understanding people but I can see I can see a lot of people being very upset about this like you're pushing you're pushing uh, a leftist uh, perspective into my movies and on my kids or whatever. I can see people getting up, uh, upset about this, but I digress. Um, so I, I, I like how they brought Killmonger into a modern world view and created a, just a killing machine out of him. Uh, in the comics, he was more of like a wild man, you know, beast type character. Whereas here, um, they create this soldier-like killing machine um, where you just see all these marks on his body where he he's marked himself for his kills and it's just uh, it's just insane how they created this uh, this narrative of this this thing that they created themselves um, let me think they, they uh, because if I'm starting to lose my words because I'm getting tired um, they created a uh, Wakanda or well T'Challa's father created this monster themselves through T'Challa uh, or T'Changa his dad T'Challa's dad difficult names to remember killed Eric Killmonger's father which is T'Changa T'Changa's uh, brother which is T'Challa's uncle <sighs> okay <laughs> so um, by him killing Killmonger's dad that created this monster so they 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 the society itself created it um, and not its society but uh, Wakanda society created it itself so I liked the fact that there was this 
sense of understanding at the end. So when, when it was all said and done, obviously T'Challa kills Killmonger. And there was this sense of peace with Killmonger. Like he, he grew to finally understand what T'Challa was trying to do. What his new plans were, what he was, what, what his intentions were, and he just seemed at peace with it at that point. He also, at that point, um, he was um, obviously coming to peace with his death. Um, but I don't know. It it just seemed as if. There was this unspoken understanding that, because what the issue was, was there, uh, what's the wording I'm looking for? Wakanda keeps its technology a secret because it doesn't want the technology of vibranium getting out to the wrong people, so they, they kept themselves a secret. And so... Killmonger's perspective is you're keeping this a secret and our people are being oppressed. You need to step up and stand up for your people while Wakanda is saying, no, we can't do that because we need that will make us vulnerable for people stepping in and causing problems. Um, and what uh, T'Challa uh, comes to understanding is that perhaps there's another way. Um, perhaps we've grown in power so much so that we don't have to worry about um, some about the the vibranium technology falling into the wrong hands so it seemed that's that's what his plans were but he never vocalized it to uh, killmonger so it seemed as if there was an unspoken under, understanding that um, he is moving forward and progressing uh, Wakanda into the 21st century with um, Wakanda leading society and and moving him forward. So um, I really liked that. I liked that there was that he came to terms with uh, or they 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 basically he became i can't i can't speak my words because i'm tired um i can't speak my words i can't think of words because i'm tired um there was a mutual understanding and i really i really like the fact that they did that and that they didn't have to vocalize it it was like an unspoken kind of thing and it was clever um anyways so yes I really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, as I said, there are probably going to be a lot of people that are upset by it just because it is very um, open about the uh, um, the division within the black community and very open about the division between um, uh, society as a whole and blacks as a minority. So... Um, there are going to be people upset about it, but I, I, I'll be honest, it was a really good movie, really well written, uh, good graphics, but I, I can guarantee you there are going to be a lot of people upset about it. Anyways, I got to get off here because I am absolutely exhausted. I'm stumbling over my words right now. Um, so I apologize for that. I'll probably go into a better review later on this week, possibly next week. Uh, after I watch it again, but I really, really enjoyed it. Um, definitely go see it. Eight out of ten. Um, uh, remember doing the giveaway. Uh, the Overwatch Widowmaker pop figure. Yes, you guys too. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, share and like. The moronic giveaway video that's it then you're entered to win got, got this going on all month every month i'll be doing a uh, moronic giveaway so don't forget to do that all right follow me on twitter 
Uh, that's uh, twitter.com slash coach Detman or twitter.com slash the underscore oxy underscore morons. Um, you can find that in pretty much any description that I post. Follow me on Facebook, facebook facebook.com slash drew the debt verse in crayon. Or you can just type in the oxymorons, find my face, and follow that. That's perfectly fine, too. Um, Twitch, twitch.tv slash coach Detman. Uh, mixer, mixer.com slash coach Detman. Mixer.com slash teams slash the oxymorons. Or uh, player.me slash the oxymorons. Player.me slash coach Detman. I have a lot of stuff you can follow. If you can't find me, that's your fault. Yeah. Anyways. I'm gonna get off of here, you guys. Um, I'm still, I'm still gonna be redoing the uh, the video or the the podcast for uh, my interview with David. Uh, the audio turned out really bad, and on top of that, it got cut really short because he had a schedule change literally like the minutes he walked in. So uh, we're gonna have to redo that because it just did not end up as good as what I wanted it to be, and it 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 just wasn't good enough in my opinion. So I'm going to go to bed. Um, so if you have any questions for David, leave it in the comment section. Anybody that hasn't heard of this, uh, podcast interview, it is about the Naruto craze that is going on nationwide. There is a big resurgence resurgence in the Naruto CCG card collecting game, uh, nationwide. And I'm going to be doing an interview with him about that. So if you have any questions at all, leave a comment below or, DM me, whatever, however you want to get a hold of me. Uh, let me know if you want me to ask him any questions. So, um, yeah, I'm going to sign off of here because I'm about ready to fall asleep and I have to open in the morning. So I will talk to y'all later. Bye.